Hey, what's up guys? I've got a quick unboxing here for you. This is going to be an unboxing of the Shout Factory or Scream Factory exclusive uh, release and restoration, I think, of My Bloody Valentine that I actually only watched for the very first time just this last year. And I thought it was pretty good. I think it's got a new, yeah, new 4K scan, the theatrical version, and the uncut version also has a new 4K scan, so that's cool. Um, it comes with the regular release that you can get from, uh, like, Amazon and stuff and Best Buy or wherever. But I ordered from the website, uh, Shop Factory, and uh, that edition came with a separate slipcover. It has alternate artwork on the front and back. This is a still from the film itself, and then just alternate art. And it also came with two posters of the new artwork, the... I guess the new and original one, or regular, and then the alternate. Both are pretty cool. I think if I was going to choose between these two, um, hmm, I probably would prefer this one still. This one's pretty cool. I like the uh, design of it, but I think I still prefer this one. So, very neat. So I'm going to open this up real quick, like. There we go here. This comes out on the 11th, I think. I'm unboxing this on Monday the 3rd. I got this um, today. Um, which is typical, I suppose, of um, Shelf Factory releases. When you order from their site, you can get them about a week or so early, depending. Sometimes longer or more advanced. But um, usually about a week. And then it's actually still, yeah. And here, too, I gotta do that. That's cool. Feels like it's a regular case too. Sometimes they have the shittier cases, and I don't like that. But this this feels normal, so hopefully it is normal. Like I said, I've only seen this once. I saw it. I just kind of rented it on Voodoo. Saw just a regular um, a version of it, but um, I have not seen the uncut version. So I'm looking forward to checking that out. And there's disc one and two with I think that's the original uh, poster art. That's the new art this around with the, yeah, with the poster art. Or the original, like, VHS art and stuff. This is from 1980, I think? 1981. Very cool. There's more, what's it say? Hold on. There's more than one way to lose your heart. That's on here, too, but it's not on here. Hmm. And it came like this, too, in a plastic bag, which is nice, I guess, so I can keep that somewhere. Um, so that's cool. I just showed you the discs. Disc 1 is the theatrical, and the runtime is plus or minus 90 minutes, and the on-cut version is three extra minutes, approximately. Which is neato. Um, like I said, I just watched this for the first time. It's, I thought it was a pretty good film. Not bad. I have not seen the remake that came out in, what was that, 2008 or nine or something? Maybe later? I don't know. But I haven't seen that. I've heard it's not very good. But, um, you know. Um, well, I guess I can look at the back here. Uh, stands up. My Black Valentine stands up with Black Christmas as the best Canada has to offer in the off slided slasher horror subgenre. Would I compare that to Black Christmas? Um, I like Black Christmas. There is no Black Christmas. I like this one too. I've actually seen both of them once each, so maybe I should try to watch them. I forgot that this was a Canadian film. That's cool. On Valentine's Day, someone always loses their heart. Twenty years ago, this small town lost more than that. When supervisors abandoned their posts to attend the town's annual holiday dance, a tragedy claimed the lives of five minors. The sole survivor, Harry Warden was institutionalized, but returned for a vengeful massacre on the disaster's first anniversary. Nineteen years later, the town is gearing up for another Valentine's Day party. Teen sweethearts TJ and Sarah, along with their friend Axel, are among the excited partygoers. But when a box of candy containing an eerie warning and blood-soaked heart arrive, the town folk... Uh, the townsfolk realize that romance is a good, as good as dead, and so are they. <laughs> okay. Now, it doesn't have a whole list of special features here, though. I'm guessing that and more means more. I could have swore I read this online. There was a lot more than this, but... On disc one, it says it's got the new scan. A trailer, TV spots, video spots, still, you know, the usual crap. 
And this too has the uncut version with the scan, and then it says, and more, so I don't know. If there's a lot more, I could have swore there was more, but I'm guessing there is, so. Here's a close-up of the art. Collector's edition. Hmm. Let's take a quick look at the posters. I'm almost tempted not to open these. Maybe I'll, let's take a look, see. I'm assuming it's doubled up, since it's a small container. Hold on. Ugh. Looks tighter than usual. That's what she said? <laughs> okay, yeah, there's two of them here. Uh, let's see here. I like to keep this uh, piece of paper they've got on here to... Uh, hold on. I like to keep that so I can use it later after I'm done with this. Come on now. Let's take a sticker. What are you doing here? Oh, it's it's kind of inside here too, so I gotta try to get this without. It's being a bit. Come on now. I'm gonna have to fucking rip it, aren't I? All right. I did not want to do that, but I guess I'll have to. So I'm taking this off here now. I see how far it is in there, so yeah, that's annoying, but whatever. Let me move this out of the way for a second. And here's the first poster. It's nice, I like that. I'm excited, I like that new art. My bloody Valentine. You can kind of see it there. And then behind it is the other poster. bigger I can't show how it yet but you get the idea it's the same exact image as the um the two um well two slip covers here so anyway that's it guys thanks for watching it's kind of a quick one and like I said I can't talk too much about it because there's not a whole not more special features listed here but I could have swore there's more I'll bet um I'll bet there's more but uh for whatever reason it's not listed here but anyway thank you for watching this has been fun, and I guess I'll see you again for more stuff. I don't know what else is coming out in February. A um, couple things? I can't think of anything specifically, so I guess we'll see. So until next time, uh, keep uh, watching horror movies and having fun, I guess. Buy as much as you want. <laughs> I'm trying to buy less than I used to, but uh, still got to catch up on some of the Screen Factory stuff. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you again in the future. So see you later. Bye.